that provides for them in the way that it provides for people, which is different from the way that spirit provides for animals. Well, people are hundred million times more complex than animals in, in what they do. Well, I would just say that they're different. People are people, cats are cats, birds are birds, you know, elephants are elephants. They all do what they do as they do it, as they need to do it. Birds do what they need to do, dogs do what they need to do, and people need, people need to learn that they need to do what they need to do as people. Most of them live from up here and their thinking directs their lives. So they never really have life living them. They miss that. They miss the the innocence and the completeness of living life as life living them. Because they're always having this thing living them. So they miss that. So this is what you're coming to see. I know it. I don't know how to see it. <laughs> well, deep down, I know all this. Well, it's different, okay? Living it is different. Living it and experiencing it, doing it, is what you're coming to, to see. It's different from having heard about it, or learned about it, or talked about it. The living of it is the important thing. And that's what you're coming to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can read all the spiritual books and do all the spiritual practices, but it comes down to that, that you be in the now and you're doing. Right? It's important that you're the one who's doing it, that you're the one who's there, and not the thing that thinks it's you. The parasite, the parasite that took over at some point when you were young, thought it was you, starting out very young, and has lived it's lived your life as you for your whole life up until now. Now you're starting to see that you're different from that thinker. You don't have to live that way anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what else has been going on? Ooh. Well, <laughs> my favorite thing is the depression um. and uh, you know, I've been on different medications and I always thought, you know, that's again the thinking, the thought, you know, if I take this medication, it's going to make me feel happy, mm -hmm. or happier. Or, um, you know, the homeopathics I've been taking, I also, the thinker also thought, they're going to save me, you know. Mm -hmm. It's going to cure the depression. And I think what I come to see is, is um, it's really up to me if I want to go this way or not. I have a choice. I can do it or not do it. Mm -hmm. 
And um, <laughs> well, isn't that wonderful to see? It is good to see. Um, <laughs> and that's what a thinker comes in and says, well, you know, it has done it so many times. I have control. Um, uh, you know, I fucked up your life. I'm gonna do some more. And that my depression is very powerful. It it comes to the to the total end of ending everything. So whose depression is it? It's the brain's depression. Yeah. So you can just start saying that that the thinker's depression or the brain's depression instead of my depression. It's not your depression. Yeah. And it's what the power of words comes in mm -hmm. again. Yeah, it's not your depression. Your brain is the one who says that it has control mm -hmm. and that it can screw things up mm -hmm. when it decides that it wants to. Mm -hmm. And it's just talking about itself. And it wants to end it all and yeah. that's the favorite line. Well, that's the big scary one. Yeah. So and then it cannot end it anyways, it cannot, it has all the stories, well, if you end it, you know, if you believe in the afterlife and you're going to horribly suffer in, you know, hell or whatever, or <clears throat> you have to be re reincarnated and redo everything and all that. <laughs> well, this is, this is the brain talking about itself. You might remind it that, that hell is it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when it's worried about anything hellacious, you can remind it that mm -hmm. it is hellacious. Mm -hmm. I like the word hellacious. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make that up or it exists? <laughs> I think there is a word. Hellacious. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, you know, when I talk to you, so many times the same things come up and you would say them again to me mm -hmm. and it seems like it's repeating until I get the idea, until I really know. I keep saying what I need to say and what you need to hear <coughs> and as you continue doing what you need to do then you start to see more and more in different ways mm -hmm. and then you may some at some point you may go oh that's what that's all about mm -hmm. it's what we're doing is all about showing you or guiding you to the point that you see what you're able to see. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't just give you a 10 steps and you follow these 10 steps because mm -hmm. it doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. you, don't get, you don't get from point A to point B that way. Okay? It's, it's just a process of kind of, you just keep washing and washing and washing the brain away. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about this image if you keep pulling ahead, pulling ahead, and pulling ahead. Well, as you talk to the thinking, you keep washing away, washing away, washing it away. So it's kind of a washing process. It's kind of, it's kind of a washing away process. And then you, at some point you find yourself in a different place. Mm -hmm.